Let me show you the FDD transceiver. Look at this computer net cable. It's connected to this FDD. Ethernet for P pin to the board. The FDD board is connecting the programmer. Look at the configuration parameters panel. Because it is bi-directional, it is divided into TX and RX. Now TX is 650 megahertz frequency. It has an RX frequency. It has uplink and downlink, two different frequency. RX frequency is 750 megahertz and TX is 650 megahertz. Let us see another board. 650 for receiving and 750 for transmitting. It is connecting my laptop via the network cable. The FDD transceiver boards are a wireless link connecting the PC and laptop. Okay, let's verify it now. We run the ping command on the laptop to see if there is any feedback. We can see that ping OK and showing the feedback time. The other side computer IP address is 192.168.1.45. That's the desktop computer. From my laptop, run ping to the desktop computer. It works fine. The return delay is about 20 milliseconds now. The second test is transmission speed. I run the IPF3 and continuously send data packets to the desktop computer. This way the wireless network between the two computers is running at full capacity. The software is IPF3. It can measure the transmission rate in the current wireless status. We can see the transfer rate between wireless to computer. The average bandwidth rate is 6.8 Mbps. It's the wireless air interface. The theoretical air interface is actually 7.8 Mbps. You can transmit 6.8 Mbps of data on it. The third test. I unplugged the network cable from the computer. We use more intuitive wireless video transmission to test. Now I connect to an IP camera to send video. It is equivalent to replacing a desktop computer with IP camera. IP camera is transmitter and the notebook is receiver because it is transparent transmission. I directly enter the RTSP address of the IP camera. Now the camera video is showing. We shook our hands in front of the camera and there was no sluggishness or time delay visible to the naked eye. For FDD dual channel transceiver, please contact us.